Greetings and welcome joyous viewers to our program featuring Lunar New Year traditions across Asia. The Lunar New Year is considered the single most important holiday of the year in a number of countries. It is celebrated according to the lunar calendar, usually occurring in January or early February. Lunar New Year's Day is a festive time that brings the whole family together. It is also a sacred day of welcoming the future with sincere wishes of personal development and for the betterment of the world. The Lunar New Year is celebrated in China, Formosa or Taiwan, Aulak or Vietnam, Korea, Malaysia, Singapore, Tibet, Indonesia, and in Asian communities throughout the world. China, Aulak, or Vietnam, and Korea are three countries that hold many customs in common. The Lunar New Year is a time when everyone returns to his or her homes to reunite with family, even if it means traveling hours or even traveling home from overseas. Time is reserved for visiting or hosting relatives and good friends, and special foods are shared in their company. Buddhists might go to the temple to pray for the coming year. Everyone puts on fresh, bright, and colorful new clothes. The whole house is cleaned thoroughly, and so the new year is greeted with a fresh start inside and out. In general, the Lunar New Year celebration lasts three days, but it is often extended days or even weeks more. In China, New Year festivities traditionally start on the first day of the month and continue until the 15th when the moon is brightest. Koreans believe that on this day, their behavior during the past year is reported to heaven. Therefore, they are careful about their actions and try to examine themselves. Families stay up all night on New Year's Eve and lights are turned on everywhere in the house to greet the new year filled with light. It is said that if one falls asleep before seeing the sunrise, he or she will wake up with white eyebrows. Just after midnight, the new year begins and according to the custom, the first thing to do is hang a bokchori a pouch that brings blessings. The bokchuri hung on the wall is believed to be filled with blessings for the year. There are all kinds of traditional games that are played on the Lunar New Year in Korea. Let's take a closer look. There are lots of ways to enjoy the fresh air of the New Year. Since many years ago, Koreans, in particular women, would jump on a seesaw taking turns sending a partner high above the ground. This is called Nortwigi. The ample white snow that falls during this time of year makes for a fun time playing with it. With some winds of luck, people also love to fly kites, often made by the flyer's own hands. One's spirit soars along with the kites in the air. There are also exciting group games. In Chagi Chagi, a brightly colored and light hacky sack-like toy is tossed around from person to person with the inside part of the participant's feet. Pengi is the Korean version of the game of spinning tops, and a board game that the whole family can enjoy together, Yunnori. Four sticks, dark on one side, light on the other, are tossed on the floor as the players sit around with wide-eyed anticipation. The more dark side sticks there are, the further one can travel around the game board to reach one's goal. Let's watch as these kids have a great time playing this very old game. Korea, there is a form of bow performed by the younger generation to their elders. This New Year's bow, called Sebe, is to wish for the good health and longevity of the elders who have loved them and guided them. After their bow, children are given some money by the elders, which they place in a blessing pouch. We'll find later that similar traditions exist in other countries as well. In Aulak or Vietnam, Yao Thu, or New Year's Eve, is the most sacred time of the year, marking the passage from the old to the new year. It is the time to usher out the spirits of the old year with firecrackers. In Aulak or Vietnam, the Lunar New Year holiday is called Thut. It is also a time of family reunion, visiting relatives, and remembering ancestors. From the 23rd of the last lunar month, the supermarket becomes very lively with many more items, like glutinous rice, to make rice cakes and dumplings. Fruits are in abundance. There are candied lotus seeds and watermelon seeds. Yellow apricot and peach blossoms are the New Year's typical flowers. 
The new year is also a time for children who participate in wholesome games such as monkey bridge walk, tug of war, dragon snake soaring, and aukon. The people believe that the new year is a time to dispose of the unpleasant things of past year. Thus, at year's end, people sweep and clean their house and buy new clothes. Everyone treats each other cordially with goodwill wishes during this time. Please stay tuned for more on Lunar New Year traditions here on Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to A Journey Through Aesthetic Realms and today's presentation of Colorful Customs of the Lunar New Year. For the Chinese, the Lunar New Year ends with the Lantern Festival on the 15th day of the month. People hang glowing lanterns in temples and carry lanterns to an evening parade under the light of a full moon. In many places, the highlight of the Lantern Festival is the Dragon Dance or a Lion Dance. Let's find out more about the Chinese Lion Dance. Chinese 然后放布帘对石沉香啊Across Asia, on Lunar New Year's Day, blessings and well wishes are expressed to family members and neighbors. In China, everyone cheerfully greets one another with a hearty congratulations. In the Alex Seas and Chinese traditions, the parents and grandparents will give their children and grandchildren a red envelope with some money inside as a good luck wish for the coming year. <laughs> Ah, 对对对对,谢谢,谢谢。还有红包耶,这么不错。Over the years, during gatherings on the Lunar New Year, Supreme Master Ching Hai has shared her generous well wishes and love with our association members through this popular New Year's tradition. We have uh, prepared the lucky red envelope <laughs> for all of you. <laughs> for the one who are foreign <laughs> with this uh, tradition, I explain a little bit. It is according to the Oriental tradition that uh, the first days of the new year, the elder 
should give some kind of uh, lucky symbol for the uh, younger generation. Yes. <laughs> So in China or in Vietnam, we will give the children a red envelope and inside some money, just a symbol of luck for the new year. During the 2007 Lunar New Year in Shihu, Formosa, a grand celebration was held in which Supreme Master Ching Hai was invited to join with thousands of our association members in a three-day celebration of the Lunar New Year. It was on this joyful occasion that Supreme Master Ching Hai sang the delightful New Year lyrics she had created to augur a truly peaceful New Year for every being on earth and in heaven. If our wish is sincere, it might come true. Hmm. Okay. Happy New Year, heaven. Happy New Year on earth. Happy New Year, all beings. Happy peaceful New Year. Happy New Year, heaven. Happy New Year on earth. Happy New. Happy New Year, heaven. Happy New Year on earth. Happy New Year, all beings. Happy peaceful New Year. Happy New Year, heaven. Happy New Year on earth. Happy New Year, all beings. Happy peaceful New Year. Happy New Year, heaven. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, all beings. Happy peaceful New Year. Happy New Year, heaven. Happy New Year on earth. Happy New Year, all beings. Happy peaceful New Year. There will be peace just like God has spoken. For the Lunar New Year of the Rat in 2008, Supreme Master Ching Hai joined Supreme Master Television for a different kind of celebration. A New Year gathering, Bridging Distances, was broadcast live on Supreme Master Television. It was a truly international celebration. On that occasion, Supreme Master Ching Hai shared this wish to the world. New Year is a time of celebration, reunion of generosity, reconciliation, and forgiveness. We join billions of people around the globe in joy and thanks that life on earth still offers most of her inhabitants much beauty and comfort. We pray for the less fortunate and wish all beings many good years to come. May heaven grace all with love and wisdom to walk the right path, to make the right choice, to continue in all that is good, merciful, loving, and harmonious. May all renew strength and courage to start a new year with determination to walk the noble way, to pursue the noble purpose, thus bringing heaven to earth with everlasting peace for all beings to enjoy. Wishing you an abundant, lucky new year with much love and happiness. Cherished viewers around the world, 
on this most auspicious beginning of the Lunar New Year of the Ox, we wish you peace, lots of happiness, and Heaven's blessings. Thank you for joining us today on A Journey Through Aesthetic Realms. Now please stay tuned for Vegetarianism, the noble way of living, right after noteworthy news. May you and your loved ones have a happy and peaceful New Year.